Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Pure Energy Healing Academy, and welcome to your channel, uh, Matt Vajerski, YouTube channel, but it's yours, it's ours, it's a family affair, it's a family affair, oh, stop. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning, a uh, little bit delicate this morning, I let a friend down yesterday at Big Style, so I'm uh, quite upset about, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Far from it. Got two divorces under my belt. Going for a third. <laughs> yeah, just upset a friend. Um, you know, I think life is about living and experiencing every day. And whatever it is we do, whatever it is we believe, whatever it is um, the path that we walk, it's all experiences and we should never really take it to heart and never really hold on to things because it's not healthy for any of us, you know. We live, we learn and we go wow and then we move on instead of being sad about it. But today, anyway guys, it's a lovely day in Mijas Pueblo. Can you believe I've done 12, two 12 hour shifts? Have I done more since I've got back from Germany? Uh, wrapping and packing your crystals and your uh, incense. Woo! I needed it today. <laughs> Okay, so this is, um, this today's topic uh, moves um, swiftly on from yesterday's topic, which was about the Ouija board. And I don't know if you've noticed, guys, but I've had a, a, a huge barrel of messages. A lot of them were really bad. I took them off. Um, somebody said to me, why don't you leave your uh, comments on? And I said, you know what? Why do people want to see awful personal attacks on comments? And I, I disabled them a while ago, you know, for the lemon one, there was some really cruel and people are such in a bad place. And um, I, I always find this and it's really heartbreaking. But when anybody talks about religion to me, the first thing that hits me is the amount of attack you get from people's belief system that if it's shattered in any way or it's it's. I don't know if, if it causes them to think a little bit, it, it, it can cause them anger. And of course, I don't know if you've seen, but I had a massive amount of um, people who were, uh, who, the, the, I, I, it sounds awful, but Bible bashers where they're hitting me with a Bible all the time. The Bible said this, the Bible said that. And I, God, you know, I, I was brought up a Catholic. Leave me alone. I have a choice. Like my daughter has a choice. I didn't bring my daughter and son up to believe anything. I believe them. I led them to find their own path and their own choice. Leave people alone, please. Let people be. Let them believe and choose what they want. Stop force feeding a Bible down people's throats or the Quran or whatever. Leave if you believe in that religion and it means something to you. Hallelujah for you. I'm happy. Please, wow, why the anger? Does it scare you so much that people have another belief? Why would it scare you? Why would you want to force anything down people's throats? If you truly believe in your religion and it means something and you feel it with all your heart, why do you even need to go and tell anybody anything? You know, if you love somebody, do you need to go and tell everybody all day long that you love so? Oh, by the way, I love this woman. Excuse me, I love this woman. Excuse me, everybody. I love this. I love this woman. No, you don't. If you love somebody, you don't need to say it. It shines through. Anyway, so yes, this uh, this topic of conversation. <laughs> Chuckle. This topic today is about um, all the attacks on tarot. So I'm going to share a story with you. Okay. Bearing in mind, 12 years ago, I was very anti anything to do with tarot and any of these, this kind of stuff at all, okay? <laughs> Anybody can change. Well, did you hear that, everybody? You can change too. You're allowed. <laughs> it's called being open. So we had a shop called Tickle Pink, me and Susie, when we were together. And um, I came downstairs after a long day of sessions and... Um, what had happened, I'm not going to share the first story with you, but the, the, it does lead on to this one. It's about an angel that came into my life with long blonde hair at a show in um, the castle down in Fuengirola. She told me I wouldn't use the angel cards anymore, and uh, she was absolutely right. One day a lady came, listen, I'm telling you the story already. A lady came, and I started reading for her, and I said, oh my God. And she looked at me and said, what's wrong, Mark? And I said, my cards don't, they're not reading to me anymore. 
And she said, why would you say that? And I said, well, you've not had a child in spirit leave from your stomach. And she said, no, I've never had a, a loss of a pregnancy. Or, um, And I said, and you haven't lost a, a dog to the spirit world? No, I've never had a dog. And I said, my cards aren't working. These are the, what are the, what was saying on the cards. So I knew the lady, this this beautiful six foot tall blonde lady that nobody else saw, only me. <laughs> and I read for her and then she gave me this information. Nobody else saw her after. I ran round saying, did you see that lady? She was about six foot with long. Nope, no, nope. I asked everybody. So that was a real strange one. That's another story. So I just met this lady called, well, I'm gonna tell you her name, but I just met this lady, uh, she was the psychic queen of Ireland and uh, she just knew. And she placed this deck of cards in my hand. And she was into all the, the tarot cards, but this was a different deck. This was very special. She'd never seen anything like it in her life and she just bought them from Fuengirola. Look at them. Fly free. Look how beautiful they are. They're nothing like tarot cards, guys. Look, spirit world, the tree. Okay, so she put these in my hand and I, I read and uh, straight away I saw things that I, I couldn't believe. So I was upstairs and I took these cards out and started reading for this lady, okay? And it was an amazing reading. It was, we both cried and she was blown away and so was I, absolutely blown away. And that was it, that was the start of my path with these new cards. You can call them tarot, but I just call them my spiritual cards, that's all. Okay, they're pieces of paper with pictures on. <laughs> and they're beautiful pictures. So I went downstairs, Susie went home and I'm sat in the shop because I, I took over, she needed a break and um, two friends came in from the urbanization. And um, it was really interesting because they walked over and um, she said, hi Mark, how are you? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine. She says, what are you doing these days? And I said, well, actually being excited because I just read these new cards. And I said, I've just started reading tarot. And all of a sudden she stopped dead still and I could see there was something very wrong. And I almost looked at her and like she was, I thought she was angry or mad. And I, 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 and then she went, oh, okay. And then she left with her husband very quickly. And then I started feeling really down and I thought, oh God, she must be religious. And anybody who's religious, you know, um, are deemed that the tarot are, are meant to be evil. Um, just a side point, by the way, um, this is the biggest community of Catholics uh, anywhere in Mijas Pueblo. Yet if you switch the television on, every single channel is tarot readings. Work that out. So, um, I was sat there and I was really, really upset. This was my neighbor who had just heard me say that I start reading the tarot card and I started feeling bad and down and upset. Anyway, I never saw them and maybe about a few days later or a week, I can't remember, it was so long ago, she walked through the door with her husband. And as soon as she came up to me, I said straight away, because you know how you, you are when you're, when you're sensitive, I said, I'm so, so sorry that I upset you the, um, the other week. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, I hope I I didn't, you know, I said, I've only just started reading these cards and they're not what you think they are. And she said, what, what are you talking about? And I said, you know, the tarot cards, I was telling you about it. She says, Mark, hold on, hold on. I want to tell you something now. She says, I had a son called Gregor and Gregor was our life. And Gregor only recently moved into the, the light. And I said, I'm so sorry. She said, he was a lovely lad and I want to tell you about him. He spent um, two or three of his years working on a, a Scottish um, salmon uh, farm. And every night after he'd done his work, he'd go inside uh, to his home and he started working on a project which was for 
many, many, many years, two years or three. And she said, when he passed this project of his, I've kept ever since and I've never known what to do with it. And she says, when I walked through the door and you just said those words, I just had an overwhelming feeling and I knew then that I needed to give you something. So she proceeded to take out of her bag um, a beautiful silk, um, like a wrap, a beautiful silk wrapper. And in that wrapper, she says, these are for you. She says, Gregor spent every single day for two years hand making these tarot cards. It was his life. He loved it. It was his passion. And they're all handmade. All of them. Hours and hours of, of love, compassion. <sighs> I started crying my eyes out. And I said, you're going to give me these? She said, I couldn't wish for anybody else to give them to. She said, you are definitely the one to have them. My dear friends... The story of synchronicity of spirit's helping hand, where spirit knows <clears throat> where to take somebody. Spirit being today, Gregor, or a few years ago, look at his lovely face. That's Gregor. Born the 5th of the 8th, 1965, and died the 17th of the 3rd, 2003. Or should I say, moved into the light. I have a handwritten letter from my dear friend telling me all about his work and his passion. I keep Gregor's story alive every time I leave this place and every time somebody comes here, I share this story with them. And the story is, don't always believe what you read. The tarot card is simply a card it is how you as a soul perceive life and how you see things that makes the difference. So it is the goodness of a soul. It is the love of somebody. It is the compassion of somebody that makes a difference in this world. You choose whether you walk the path of lightness or darkness. So today, my dear friends, my message is very simple. To all the people who attack me through religion mainly, or through non-belief system, it's okay, it's fine, it doesn't hurt me. But when you attack people, does it not hurt you? Do you not feel pain? Do you not ask yourself why you're actually attacking people and forcing your opinion on people? Do you not ask yourself why you have to walk a path like that? And if there was a Jesus Christ and there is a Bible, do you think he'd be proud of you attacking people? Do you really believe that that is love and compassion? And in, do you really believe that's why you're here? Doesn't matter what it is in the world. If you are a good soul, you are a good soul. Doesn't matter what you believe in this world. If you're a good soul, you're a good soul. Your temple is your heart. Your religious is your kindness. How you behave and act shows me who you are. Words mean nothing, dear friends, but actions mean everything. That's how I judge a soul. So from my heart to yours, Everybody out there, I hope you enjoyed Gregor's story about his amazing ability to bring forward a set of cards into my hands from the spirit world through his mother. Synchronicity is spirit's helping hand. Have a beautiful day. I love you all. From my heart to your heart, have the best day and make a difference and be kind to as many people as you can today. For the heart that gives is always full.